Okay, this is uh, removing an airlock or burping the system. We've called this several different things along the way. Uh, it's going to be almost identical to the drain procedure in the drain and fill section. Uh, the one exception is this time we will install our vacuum cone using no dip tube because we don't want to extract fluid out of the out of the system. We just want to pull a good vacuum on us. We're going to remove our cap. We're going to install the cone into the remote reservoir, the top of the radiator, or the top of the radiator cap if it happens to be installed in a hose. Once again, there's multiple applications. Um, at this point, we would have already turned our control panel to the vacuum drain and fill position uh, with valve number three turned uh, to the drain side. So we would have already generated that vacuum. Okay, once again, relieving an airlock or burping the system on a vehicle that, uh, that would require uh, to bleed an airlock. We're basically doing uh, a drain and fill on this. So we're gonna do the drain side, turning number one, control valve to red drain and fill. Number two, control valve to red drain and fill. And then number three, control valve to red drain. We're going to begin to build vacuum in our system. So uh, at this point, we're we're building vacuum in our in our used fluid tank there, preparing for this. So we're going to open the used fluid flow control valve. Let it begin to pull vacuum in our cooling system, and it will be used as a reservoir to pull the new fluid back into the vehicle, displacing the air pocket. Okay. okay, so now we're pulling a vacuum in, a, in the cooling system of our vehicle, so we'll let that pull to 20 inches of vacuum. Once your 20 inches of vacuum has been reached, we're going to go back to the number three control panel valve. We're going to turn it over to the fill position to allow the vacuum that's been uh, stored in the vehicle's cooling system to pull the new fluid back into the vehicle. That will continue until your vacuum gauge drops to three to five inches of vacuum. Close the red or the black used coolant flow control valve. Turn all control panel valves back to their neutral or off position.